Good morning, everyone. Ready to draw some bunnies? I have Naomi here. She's coloring in a bunny that I drew. It's springtime, the sun is shining. We're ready to draw some bunnies. I have my Peter Cottontail mug hey, and my that, bunny sketches. That was one. This is yours? Can I use it? You don't want it. It has coffee in it. Ew, you don't like coffee. Yeah. I like coffee. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> We're drawing bunnies today. We're so excited. Like this, like this right? I'm going to show you a really easy step-by-step -step way to draw cute little bunnies. I'm so excited. We're excited, Ooh, right, Naomi? <gasps> you can color both. That's a good idea. I have my bunny mug. We're ready to go. Naomi wouldn't wear the bunny hat that I had out, but that's okay. Melissa, that. So, oh hey Missy. So we are going to get started in just a moment. What you will need is some plain paper, whatever type of drawing paper you want to use is just fine, and some drawing materials. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a marker so that you can see what I do, but you might want to start in pencil yeah. just in case you make a mistake. Yes, Naomi's using a highlighter to color in her bunny. That's really fun. So drawing supplies and a piece of paper. So I'm really excited to draw bunnies with you. Maybe you've started seeing some bunnies or rabbits in your yard. Springtime, lots of baby birds and little animals coming around. There's birdies yes. in our notes. Yes, we love birdies. And flowers. And flowers, right. And roses. All the signs of spring, you guys. It's so exciting. So let's celebrate that today and draw these really fun mm -hmm. bunny characters. So here's one that I made. And here's that, this one. There's Naomi's. This one I just kind of put some cool designs around. And, and then this is an entire bunny family that I started to make. And this is. And that's Naomi's bunny. It's so wonderful and amazing. So and my bunny. Yes. And you can see that my bunnies have some accessories on. So after I show you just some simple ways on how to draw the bunny. We're going to possibly, if you choose to dress them up, you can make your own bunny character. So I've done this with my students in the past, so you might be an expert. I'm going to dress them up with a heart on Oh, that's a fun idea. She's really excited about drawing bunnies this morning. So get your drawing supplies ready. I'm going to move this guy here. Mommy got a present for me. I did. It was her birthday. Hi, guys. So I'm going to move this bunny aside, and we're going to get started drawing our own little bunny rabbits this morning. And then you might even decide to get them all dressed up. Are you guys ready? Cool. Take a sip out of my bunny mug here that Naomi let me use for my coffee. It has Peter Cottontail on it. So the way that I'm going to show you guys how to draw bunnies... It's going to be just a step-by-step -step process, but if you decide to do something different along the way, they're so pretty, we hung up our lanterns. If you try to do something different, that's totally cool. I love it when people think of new ways to do things because this is just a way to do it, but maybe you have a different way of drawing a bunny. Yes, and then Naomi wanted to share with you again that she's coloring in a bunny that I drew. So Naomi, I'm going to ask you to put that down and you can keep coloring so that mommy can show her friends the easy steps in drawing a bunny. So I'm going to go step by step here and I'm drawing upside down so it might be a little tricky for me. That's okay. So to start our bunnies we're going to start lower in the page and we are going to actually start with the bunny's nose. That's how I started this type of bunny. And again it's just one way. You might have a different way. And the nose is like a little V. Do you see that little V? Good morning. So I'm going to close that V on top and color it in so you can see it. It's not necessary for you to color in yours now. I'm just showing you some easy ways to get started. Then I'm going to put mommy, a line mommy, down from mommy, my little nose. Mommy, mommy. I love that yellow nose, Omi. Now the next part Ooh, is going to be drawing these two lines that you see. It's like a big V that lead to the eyes. And the reason is because bunnies' eyes are actually on the side of their heads because they're prey animals. They get hunted by big hawks or other creatures, so they want to see who's coming for them. So bunnies have eyes kind of on the sides of their heads. So to know where my eyes go, I'm going to put two lines up. 
You guys, doesn't that kind of look just like the letter Y with the nose? And now at each line, I'm going to draw my eyes. So if you're just getting started, I made my nose first, a line down, two lines up, and then my eyes. You can see how my face is emerging. It's kind of silly to start with a nose, but that's the way I found that's most effective to draw this type of bunnies. Yes, Ellie? <gasps> Yours is turning yellow like a highlighter. That's so cool. I can't wait to see how you guys color these. So now I have my eyes, and I'm gonna make, do you know what parentheses are? You, you do? So parentheses kind of go on the outside of words or letters sometimes kind of hug them. That's what I think of it. So I almost drew like, parentheses around my eyes. And the reason why is because I'm going to be connecting those in just a moment. First, I'm gonna make a little line for my chin, and then I'm gonna connect the outside of my eyes to my chin. Oh, he's got chubby cheeks. I'm drawing upside down, this is so silly. So now you can see that the face of my bunny is coming to be. I put a little smile on this bunny. You might want to make um, your bunny look a little more serious, like my little girl in the middle. So all I did just now is I drew those parentheses around the eyes and then I connected them. I even made a little chin. Yes, Naomi? You want to see it? See, can you see in the camera? Oh, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> She's got her like lion's mane hair this morning. Now for <laughs> the ears, I'm just going to draw like a little line in between my eyes, but I didn't connect it. If you connect it, that's okay. And if you have a different way of drawing a bunny, that's okay too. Now I'm gonna make my nice tall ears. Maybe you want to make floppy ears for your bunny. I made kind of long, skinny ears. There's the inside and I'm doing it this way. Oh, look at me drawing upside down. It's so tricky. And there we go. Now I have my bunny's face. Oh my gosh, I just think this is the cutest way to draw a bunny. Now you have a choice for the body. You can make any shape body you want. I'm sticking with just the portrait today, so I'm probably just gonna draw the neck and torso of my rabbit. Are you okay, Naomi? You can't see, that's because my drawing's on the other side of this board. So I'm going to just draw like the neck and body cropped right off the page. If you choose to draw, you know, the whole body with the legs and tail, that's your choice. So it's up to you. Now, I showed you these guys. They are all accessorized. I think it's cute to turn our buddies into a character. So maybe you want to add glasses or bows or funny things at this point to turn your rabbit or your bunny into a fun character. This guy here, I did not add any clothes or anything. I just added some fun colors around. It almost reminds me of like a shadow. Yes, Naomi has a little heart on hers and she's coloring her bunny to be highlighter yellow. Isn't that so cool? It's your artwork so you can do whatever you want, you guys. This is so fun. So, let's see. You can make a background. You know what, I am gonna take this a step further. I didn't do this in this one where I just accessorized them, but I wanna show you guys if I wanted to make it look like my bunny was just sitting outside in my yard, I wanna show you how to make a horizon line so that it feels like our bunny is near and we can make things far. So your horizon line can be anywhere behind your rabbit. I'm just gonna go right here and that's the line where the earth and sky touch, usually. Now, off in the distance, I can draw little rabbits, I can make trees, I might even make like a little house off in the distance. You know that houses are bigger than rabbits, right? But if it's far away, off on the horizon, it appears smaller. So now I get the sense that my rabbit is really close and then the house is really far. Isn't that cool? Same thing if I were to draw like, I don't know, just like a flower growing up and it's close. Bunnies are tiny. They're about the same height as a tall flower. Not even, just the same height as a flower. So say I drew a flower here. If I was gonna make another flower off in the distance, it would probably be small. So that's gonna give me a little depth in my artwork, near and far. So you might choose to dress up your bunnies. Look here, I have these cute guys. 
You may choose just to color them in. Maybe you'll write a whole story about bunnies. Who knows? If you need to review the steps again, just go back into the video and check them out. Please share your creations and I can't wait to see what you come up with. I think we should name these guys. They're so cute. So happy bunny drawing, happy spring. Get out and enjoy the sunshine today in your yards maybe. Um, and please, please share your creations. If you have a name for your bunny, that would be fun to hear too. And I can't wait to see what you guys do. All right, guys, happy drawing, and we'll see you tomorrow. I think I might stick with another springtime activity tomorrow. We'll let you know what it is before 9 p.m. tonight. We'll let you know what supplies to get. We're still brainstorming. So if anyone has any suggestions, feel free to make your suggestions. That's how we ended up drawing guinea pigs. It's because one of our friends watching said, let's draw your guinea pigs. They knew we had guinea pigs. So any suggestions, things that you might want to practice or do with us at home. I'm trying to use supplies that everyone has. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining in this morning. Bye, guys.